But let's bring in an expert, shall we? General Keith Kellogg, a former top national security uh, advisor to uh, President Trump and Vice President Pence. He is now the co-chairman of the Center for National Security at the America First Policy Center. Sir, welcome back. How are you? I'm really good, Greg, and thanks for having me. You bet. This looks like a disaster. Uh, it looks like under Joe Biden, they did not plan and they did not, they're not executing this withdrawal well at all. Yeah, let's uh, step back a second, if we can. I happen to agree with uh, President Biden and also President Trump that we need to get out of Afghanistan. We're involved in the civil war, we're involved in nation building, people get that the Taliban are in fact Afghans. Here's the difference, though. It's how you get out is very, very important. And there's a tale, really, of two administrations. Here. And I look at the personal side of the House, we discussions with people, and also the methodology we have, the structure of getting out. Let's start with the people side of the house. President Trump took a, a, a very key interest in talking to leaders of countries in the region on the withdrawal from Afghanistan. He personally talked to Prime Minister Khan of Pakistan. He personally talked to President Ghani of Afghanistan. And he also talked to Mullah Browder, the Taliban lead. In fact, we helped get Browder out of a Pakistani jail so he could be involved in the peace process. We brought him to know how to work. We made an agreement with him in January, February of a year ago. When we're going through these peace negotiations, you will not attack American forces. And they lived up to that agreement. Part of that agreement was also that Ghani would be talking to Barada on how to come together on a negotiated settlement about getting out. Sir, so let, me, let me just jump in for a moment. Um, the, 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 the names, I'm not familiar with too many of them, forgive me. But the actual withdrawal, the images that you are seeing right now, from Afghanistan, these are troubling to me. Should we not be troubled? This looks like we dropped the ball. And also that, that the headline that where we did not tell the Bagram Airfield commander that the United States was leaving in a matter of hours. He did not know. Um, is this the way it should be happening? No, because the second part what I was going to discuss was the methodology. We came up with a methodology of reducing the forces at the same time we had gates to go through. In other words, Certain things would have to happen before we withdraw forces. And we had these gates set up April of a year ago. And as we met those gates, then the withdrawal would occur. So when we came to admit the uh, inauguration day, we still had 2,500 troops in Afghanistan. The intent was we would withdraw them on 1 May if certain gates were met to allow us to withdraw. It seems to me they're just withdrawing precipitously without meeting any of these gates and walking out the door. You know, you don't leave an airfield like Bagram in the middle of the night and not tell anybody about it unless you're just trying to get out of town without anybody seeing you get out of town. That's a huge mistake going forward. And because of that, the military will see that and they'll start collapsing on their own. So I'm not too sure they had a real plan on how to get there. We gave them a plan. It was a good plan on how to negotiate that and not withdraw the final forces until certain gates were, were met to include a discussion of the peace process between Ghani and the Taliban. That clearly is not happening. Is there a danger? My understanding is we got out of Iraq in a similar fashion. It was hasty. Um, it wasn't well planned. It wasn't well coordinated. And that helped give rise to ISIS. I believe you were in the army at that time uh, as a general. Thank you for your service, by the way. Um, are we setting up the conditions for who knows what? in Afghanistan, uh, because it does feel very similar, deja vu all over again, to how we got out of Iraq. And you know what happened next. Yeah. Look, here's, it's a, it's a question of will. When President Trump talked to Barada from the Oval Office, he was very clear to the Taliban what the consequences would be if they started doing things, terrorist activities, or any activities like that, and that he would have significant consequences to bear if they didn't. I'm not too sure that has happened with, with President Biden, because I know he's not talked to Khan of Pakistan, and I know he's not talked to Barada. And you have to set those conditions going forward. Right. If you do this, this will follow. That hasn't happened. We uh, had a little trouble hearing you. Uh, I think that's on our end, but uh, General, uh, we appreciate it so much. General Keith Kellogg, uh, good luck at the, uh, at the center there. To be continued for sure, and we'll be right back.